Hey, yo, what is up, Thrill Seekers? I am finally back for another construction update of Dr. Diabolical's cliffhanger. If you didn't know, I was in California for about nine days. Um, so I did unfortunately miss the first couple test cycles for the ride. Um, but I tried to keep you guys updated as much as I could over on my Instagram. So definitely go follow me there if you have not already. First, in this update, I'm just gonna kinda uh, talk about some more cosmetic things. Um, first off, you can see they have started to put um, different colored rocks under the ride. Um, seems like they're just going to kind of make that the basis, um, at least for, you know, most of the ride area. Um, and then they may add grass a little bit later. But for now, um, they have started to make it look a little bit prettier, um, for sure, at least uh, under this first kind of queue line section. In addition, they did end up topping off the station. Um, so the station is, uh, the station building is completely done. They just have to, um, you know, uh, install the gates and the railings and things along those lines. Um, but for the most part, it is getting pretty close um, to the time we will be able to see this thing complete. Um, they definitely still have a decent amount of work to do um, inside um, and from my understanding they are working as hard as they can um, to you know to complete that um, in addition they still do have to pour some concrete um, for a couple pathways most notably the front entrance pathway um, as well as the pathway out of that building and then into the station so hopefully we should be seeing all of that poured very soon um, as the entrance is going to go right here, right behind that truck there, um, and will end up being basically across from where that uh, little crane is there. So that's kind of what you can expect in terms of the um, entrance way of this attraction. <laughs> um, and uh, yeah, I'm excited. I think it's gonna be super, super awesome. Um, Anyways, let's take a look at the other side where I can talk about some testing and the schedule for that. And here I am, guys, back over at Dr. Diabolical's Cliffhanger. Over here, I just wanted to talk a little bit more about the cosmetic stuff um, and then go into the testing schedule. So first off, literally today, um, they just poured this concrete path. Um, this is going to most likely serve a couple purposes. Number one, for guests to walk on along this path um, so that you know they can get over to the amphitheater as well as um, have it be uh, the path that they can use um, whenever they have the fireworks going. Um, in addition, most likely we're going to be able to walk down there um, and connect up to the exit um, so that we can get to this ride a lot easier. Um, in terms of in terms of everything else, uh, like I said, we have the station uh, roof all in um, and ready. They are pouring more concrete. Um, there was a whole bunch of concrete trucks actually, uh, or cement, cement trucks, I guess, um, on the other side here. Um, so they are trying to pour as much concrete and cement as possible um, in order to finalize these pathways and all of that kind of stuff, um, really starting to get it completely ready for its opening. Um, in terms of testing, so they have been testing now for around a week. Um, the first couple of tests, they were mainly testing all of the brakes, making sure that the train could stop at all of the places that it is supposed to stop. Um, in addition, they were testing all the sensors, making sure that everything was working properly there, um, and basically just confirming all of the work that they have done um, with the commissioning process. Um, for the first bit, um, of course, they like stopped it a whole bunch on the lift, stopped it on um, the, at the two brake sections at the top over there, um, and then they actually did not use the hold chain yet. Um, the hold chain was commissioned uh, about three, two or three days later, um, and then as soon as they were able to commission that hold chain, um, they were able to send trains through it and test to make sure that the whole chain was working properly. Alrighty, I just wanted to pop in and mention real quick that something that they have been working on a lot throughout testing is reprogramming the mid-course brake run. 
they actually saw that the mid-course brake run slowed the trains down a lot more than they actually wanted it to. Um, so they ended up reprogramming it, um, making sure to drop some of those um, magnetic brake fins as well as open up the friction brakes about midway through that mid-course brake run. Um, so once you get midway through that mid-course, it's just going to open up, you're going to coast through the rest of it, and that drop is going to be a lot more intense than some other dive coaster drops for sure. So super excited for that, but wanted to pop in and just mention that since a lot of you guys may be interested. Um, they have been really doing just one train test runs for the most part until yesterday. Um, yesterday I was here at the park. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to film it because I was working, but um, I was here at the park and they started doing two train test runs um, for any of the nerds like me who um, are really into block zones. Um, they tested all of the block zones and the block zones are as follows. Um, we have the station, we have the lift hill, um, the lift hill up until there is a brake section right at the top of the lift that it can stop at. From there, it goes from that brake section over to a brake section right before the hold chain. Um, so if for whatever reason um, a train stopped right before the hold train right there um, and we dispatched the next train out, it would actually keep going up the lift and stop right at the top of the lift on a brake run um, on the flat section of track there. Um, from there, it goes down that drop, down that hold train all the way over to the mid-course brake run. Um, from there, after the mid-course, it's going to hop on down here, go through the second half of its layout, and it can stop right here at the end. Um, from there, it is going to roll around and stop right here on this little slanted portion. From there, it's going to roll down more, stop on the transfer track right before the station, and then we're back in the station. So if I'm counting correctly, that is station, lift hill, hold chain, to mid-course, final brake run, or I'll call those the slow down brakes. I'm going to call those the safety brakes and then the transfer track. So that is seven block zones in order to run three trains, um, which is a lot. Um, but it does definitely make it so that we can run this thing very efficiently. Um, and we're able to send, basically we're able to send a train out as soon as um, the train um, uh, makes it up over the lift um, because if for whatever reason it has to stall for time it'll stall right at the top here so yeah super super cool um just something that i thought i should mention for any nerds like me who are into block zones um but again they did start some two train testing first they tested the two trains just running right through the block zones um they um sent out one train um, it coasted through, um, the other train was in the station, um, or pulled into the station, and then they sent out that other train, um, about midway through, about when that first train hit the, uh, mid-course brake run here, um, they sent out the other train, um, so everything just kind of ran smoothly, there were no stops or anything like that. Um, after that, they positioned each train at different block zones, um, so they first plopped it right up here at the top, um, stopped it there. Um, and then they tried to send the other train out and it didn't work um, from there uh, because yeah, I can't advance into the Brock zone from there they advanced the train from the top over right before the hold train uh, the hold chain sent the second train up and it stopped right there at the top of the lift came uh, sent the other train down to the mid course other train stopped right at the hold brake mid course dropped stopped here other one stopped at the mid course this one came around here, other train stops there, and then again for another two until it all came back into the station. Um, now, from what I saw, they actually only did one test run um, with the block zone. So most likely, pretty soon, um, we're gonna see a lot more tests with the block zones with two trains, um, and then hopefully we'll be able to see three trains as well pretty soon. Um, in terms of other scheduling things, um, after they are able to do three trains, they're going to test it a whole bunch. Right now, technically, it is still in B&M's hands, um, so the park itself is not really able to operate um, unless members of B&M's team are there to supervise. Um, around 
July, uh, a little, in, in about a week, um, a little bit over a week. Um, yeah, between a week and two weeks, most likely it will be uh, handed over to uh, Ride Operations. Um, that is when we are going to do 24 hour test cycles. We're literally going to test this thing 24 hours in a day. We're gonna have people coming in for a whole bunch of different shifts, um, going from you know midnight until eight, you know, um, uh, obviously all hours that the park is open. This thing is just going to be cycling literally 24 hours um, in the day. And that just gets it ready for daily operation um, as we need to make sure that this thing is uh, not only structurally, but also um, electronically reliable um, enough so that we can run it, you know, for 10 to 12 hours a day, um, seven days a week, right? So. Um, in addition, that's when us ride operators are going to be um, getting trained on this attraction. Um, so I'm excited for that. Um, I'm really hoping for the opportunity to learn this ride. Um, and, and then after that, we should be able to open it up. Um, I was talking to Jeffrey Siebert, um, and he was talking to a guest that was wondering why, uh, when it was going to open. Um, and he said the end of this month. So. Um, hopefully, hopefully, we will see again this open towards the end of this month. Um, so I would say to be safe, if you want to ride it, come around August. Um, they should be announcing, it, uh, announcing an opening date soon as they just recently finalized the schedule, um, the full testing schedule. So hopefully they will be sending out an official opening date soon so that you guys can plan your trips around it. Um, but at this time, I'm going to play some testing footage courtesy of one of my followers who I'm super, super grateful that uh, they ended up sending me this footage. Um, their YouTube channel is on the screen now, so definitely go check it out. Um, but anyways, enjoy this testing footage.